after we've completed our title and abstract screening, we can now perform full text screening. Full text screening asks the following question. After reading the complete full text of the paper, is it relevant to include or exclude for our systematic review? Records that we screen at the full text level are those that have been unanimously included at the title and abstract level, or where conflicts have been resolved and a decision to include has been made. As you can see here, three studies have been retrieved for full text screening following title and abstract screening, and thus there are three pending studies for me to screen. We are presented with a page that looks very similar to the title and abstract screening page. We have the titles of the records, the authors, the journal it was published in, and the abstract listed alphabetically by author surname. Summary is currently unable to house the full text within the program itself. However, to access the full text, there is a full text link field. The user can either manually add the full text link by clicking the edit button, or the link will already be included here if the citation file imported into summary contained the link. So, for example, if I were to click on the full text link here, it will open a new tab where I can read the paper itself. Jumping back to summary, let's assume I have read the full text of this study thoroughly and I've determined that we need to exclude it. To do this, I click exclude. I now need to select a reason for why I have excluded this study. For example, I might determine that the intervention was ineligible. I then would click exclude, and I'm going to do this again for the study from Cherniak. For this project, the number of times each record needs to be screened has been set at two, which means that two different people need to look at each paper and make a decision. Now, what you may notice is that we have two conflicted studies. Just like the video for title and abstract screening, we need two unanimous decisions of either include or exclude in order to determine the fate of that particular study. As you can see, for the study by Ambrosi that I have excluded for being an ineligible intervention, the user JBI summary has included it. Just like in the title and abstract, abstract screening, Conflicts can be resolved by the participant or participants who have been allocated to manage conflicts. Please see an earlier video in this series on how to set up screening rules. For the purpose of demonstration, I am going to choose to include these studies. I can choose a reason why I included these studies. However, this is completely optional. For now, I'm going to leave a blank and select include. I'm going to do this again for my second study by Cherniak. The records will move out of con conflicted and into resolved, and they will also appear under the included tab. If I jump back to the screening overview pane, you will see we have two papers included at full text screening. Like title and abstract screening, if you make a mistake at any time and want to change one of your decisions, you can do this by clicking my decision and selecting revert my decision to this cor corresponding record. The record will then be sent back to the awaiting screening section to be screened again. If you have been allocated to resolve conflicts, you can revert the decision made and it will move back to the conflicted tab. Once a conflict has been resolved, however, the screeners who made the initial decisions that created the conflict cannot revert their decisions. Project owners and privileged authors are able to revert project level decisions, that is, records that have been included or excluded by selecting revert team decision. This means that records will be moved back to awaiting screening and will be required to be screened again. It is also important to note that if users have commenced or completed appraisal and or extraction and the number of required screens is changed, none of the data will be lost. The study will be grayed out until the required number of screens has been completed, and then all data will be reinstated. The data will only be lost if the study is excluded from the project. If you want to see the progress of full text screening at any time, simply go back to the screening page, which will list how many records have been screened 
and how many still need to be screened. It also lists any conflicts and how many have been resolved. The My Decisions section tells you how many decisions you have made. To see the number of decisions other project members have made, you can hover over the participants menu at the bottom of the screen.